Hey guys, welcome back to SMO Boys. Today I will be going over the other moves that are possible in Cascade Kingdom that are Catros in version that are possible to get Catros in version 1.3. So the first step is to do first moon skip. Next, do the ground pound at this point here. Just jump dive and then grab the chest moon. Now, I'm not gonna actually grab the moon just yet. If you're doing a 1.0 speed run of three captures, uh, then you have to do a roll cancel clip here, like this. You kind of just whoop, go right through the wall. Then you have to jump over this cave, long jump this direction, and then now you're at the chest room. Now perform chest clip. Stand around the right side of the chest, throw Cappy, back flip, and at the peak of the and just at the peak of the back flip, throw Cappy and hold up on the analog stick. If you perform correctly, you'll clip through the ceiling. I didn't perform correctly. Cause I'm an idiot. Okay, and if you really do want to end up trying to do this, um, though, but like, um, but that end up happening, but that ends up happening, or something like that, then you can just warp away and then go right back over, and then just give it another go. Oops. Yeah. So the first moon skip that's best is to go over here, and then go to there. Oh. So. Yeah. Stand here. Mash cap throw, and then you can dive out of bounds. Now, if you don't perform this correctly, then you can just perform first moon skip again. Yeah, yeah, there you go. And then, and then you can just ground pound again. Now, for by far the hardest capture this moon, other than the island moon, you want to make your way to this floating platform, ground pound jump. And then dive here. It's kind of tight, but it, you can do it. Now, also as well, what is a little bit faster but much more difficult is you can also do that very tricky jump. So from here, backflip up here. Then uh, perform a blind long jump over to that platform. If you're scared about doing this, you can just jump to here, backflip again, land here. And then just long jump this way. Now comes the hard part. You just want to very carefully jump over this rock without going into there. Because there's no loading zone and you'll be soft locked if you can't warp out. Just jump and do a very precise cappy dive to get into the pipe. There we go. Now to navigate your way through the 2D section, go right, jump, and go against the wall. Jump, jump again, and then move left. Go all the way against here, and you should see Mario's feet. Do some, do another thing so you can see Mario here. Jump up, run to the left, and you should get an invisible block with a coin. Go right a little bit, and then jump. Jump left again, and then you'll get the moon. Now one thing I actually am gonna do, is I'm just gonna do the CRC just for fun. Behind the waterfall. There you go. So after you do that, switch into two player. If you're not in two player, um, then you would switch into two player right now. Then jump. Then hook. And then just do the CRC. Now I just made a um, tutorial on doing the CRC. It will be uploaded in a couple days because I did have to do some editing together. So yeah, so I'm just gonna do it right here. Alright, now for the now for the tricky one. 
In 1.3, this is by far one of the hardest moves, just due to the random physics. So if you're in a 1.0 sphere, this move is insanely easy to get captured. What you'll do is you'll just come up here, spin throw, and then you'll just clip through this wall. But however, you can't do that in 1.3, because in 1.2 and up, because it was packed. So roll this way, perform this clip out of bounds at this point here. Then jump. Ground pound jump. Now comes now this jump is kind of tricky. Oh no. Nice. Death numero uno. So now this glitch is very, very inconsistent and hopefully a newer method will get discovered soon. Oh, that was kind of clean. So once you're here, you're gonna ground pound jump and then just dive. Don't even cap them. Just dive straight up and then you'll be here. Now aim yourself at, at a specific point and then just grab the ball. If you do it correctly, Mario will be extremely slowly, slowly sliding to the right. And then he'll just pop up and then he'll start sliding. Now do not hold a direction in the analog stick for too long and don't go on any slope or else then you'll fall to it, or else then he'll fall to his death. So get to this corner and constantly go in and out of snapshot mode. Once the rock disappears, do a precise cappy dive and get the moon. Now the, now the first moon. This isn't really that difficult, but it's definitely not the easiest. So just, just do the ground pound clip here like you did before. There you go. And then just swim underneath. And boom, you can just get the moon. All right, and then the 1.0 method, you just have to do the roll cancel clip, go backwards, and then get the moon. I'll try to do it here. Also as well, you can't go onto the player where the first moon normally is because the problem is, is that it actually has collision at the bottom and you can't just go right through it. But however, the rock doesn't. So, so for the 1.0 method, you have to roll cancel clip right at this wall like I did before, and then do a very precise cappy dive into this part of the water, and then just cap jump up. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Bye.